Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a set of Veloflex Corsa race tires. I picked these up because I wanted something lighter for my uh, road bike for the summer or spring and summer. Uh, one of the tires is a 23. I know it is very thin by today's standards. That one is for the front and I have a 25 for the rear. The reason I did that was actually I couldn't get two 25s that were out of stock. So I thought uh, because I've got uh, quite wide internals on my hunt wheels, I thought the 23s would expand to maybe 24, something like that, or even 25 or close to it anyway. Uh, so that is my hope. Uh, the internal widths of my hunt wheels are 19 millimeters, so we will see. But I picked up the 23 anyway, that I cannot change it now, and the 25. And I just wanted to do a brief unboxing, show you the weights of them. The claim weights of the 23 uh, are 190 grams, and the 25 is 200 grams. So I just want to see how close they are to those weights and just show you the tires. I found them to be very good tires. I've used Veloflex for years. I've also used uh, Vittoria Corsa tires as well. I've also used Schwalbe uh, tires. Uh, I didn't particularly get on with them very well. Uh, but these for a summer tire for uh, speed, definitely lightweight, fast rolling, great tires. So let me unbox them, do one at a time. This one is the 23, and they are gum wall, by the way. They are gum wall tires. My bike is black, so I don't like black tires with them, with the frame. It's too dark. Let me just move that. So that's all you get in the box. Uh, some instructions on them, but nobody uh, cares about that, I guess. There, there is a warning there, though. Uh, I've been using them long enough to know how to do this. This is the tire. Like I say, this is a 23 mil. And hopefully, when she's on the rim, she will expand out to... Uh, like I said, maybe 24, 25. Uh, before I unravel that, let me just weigh it. Hopefully you can see the weighing scales. So there we are. I don't know if you can see that. It says 189 grams. Let me just try that again. Okay, 190, so they're pretty much dead on what they say they are. Okay, and feeling, feeling the tires, they are very thin. I've used them, like I say, I used the Velaflex Master before, but now they've updated the tire. They've got a different tread pattern. Uh, from what I've read, they're supposed to be faster. Um, and with the masters I found them very good but one thing I did find is that they are very delicate so they are definitely a summer tire you don't want to be using them uh, through uh, different seasons like spring and autumn and things like that maybe maybe you could get away with it but I think they're a very uh, specific tire for summer and for dry roads so that's the 23 and that is exactly what they said it would be. So I'm pretty happy with that. And now here, you can see, hopefully, 25. This one is a 25. Like I say, I wanted to get two 25s, but I, I still think that the 23 will be fine on the front and the 25 on the back. Again, very similar, same thing, instructions. 
a little bit of paper or debris on there that will come off no problem okay there we are hopefully you can see that that's 25 and now let's weigh these There we are. Also, oh, right, she just jumped up then. Let me try that again. Okay, that time it says 201. So it said 202 the first time, but this time 201. So those are amazingly close to the claimed weights. So that's uh, very good and a, a good reason to buy them if you are looking to reduce weight on your bike. I can definitely recommend these tires. I've used, like I say, I've used the Masters in the past. I just, I just haven't used these ones, uh, the, the Corsa Race, um, but I'm sure they'll be as good as those. Uh, the makers of Vel Veloflex are, are really good at making tires. So I'm sure that I will have the same result. When it becomes summer here in Korea or later in the spring, because it's quite dry here, I'll be I'll be uh, taking the summer bike out, and I'll I'll do another review on them and tell you how I'm getting along with them and my thoughts on them. So this was just a brief unboxing, a, a weighing of them. Also, as a little bit of an extra, I just wanted to find out the overall weight of my front wheel uh, because the wheels are incredibly light anyway. Uh, but with the tire mounted and the tube in, the tube being these, uh, the Continental Race 28 light tubes, they're about 80 grams. Uh, so tire, tube, skewer, and also uh, the caps on the, on the stem, on the valve. Sorry. So let's have a go, see if we can do it. Turn it on. I just rigged up cut out the one of the Conti boxes hoping that it will work to balance the wheel anyway so there's 13 grams you won't be able to see the whole wheel obviously I'm very close so you can have an idea it's actually pretty it balanced earlier but now it doesn't want to do it try that okay 942 that was on its own then 943 okay so 943 let's say that 943 take off the 13 grams you're looking at 930 for the whole system weight of the front wheel which I think is amazing under a kilogram for the front wheel with everything on it so a uh, little bit extra if you're a true weight weenie, which I think I'm beginning to become. Uh, you will know it once you start weighing everything individually and you buy a scales and do all of that. Then, yeah, welcome to weight weenie world. There we are, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will give you an update on the tires as we go into the spring and the summer and tell you how I'm getting along with them. At the moment, it's winter here in Korea. So they'd probably be ruined in no time at all and they really are a summer tire so again thanks for watching and speak to you again bye